Today, I'm going to tell you about five overrated products from IKEA that I think are so overrated that I don't think you should buy them. G'day, I'm Aussie Tobes, and if you've already been here before, welcome back to my channel. Those of you who don't know me, welcome. I'm a bold Australian interior designer. Okay, so five overrated products from IKEA. If you like the content, please hit the notification bell and like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Thanks very much. So let's get into it. Five overrated products from IKEA. Number one on my list. Kitchens. IKEA kitchens are not worth the money you spend on them. I have this conversation all the time with clients and I have this conversation all the time with tradespeople and everybody seems to be in this sort of consensus of not but wanting to buy an Ikea kitchen. Now, don't get me wrong, when you go into the Ikea showroom, the kitchens look amazing. They are fantastic. But have you actually opened up all the doors? Have you opened up all the cupboards? Have you opened up all the drawers and seen the quality of the workmanship of the joinery. The stuff is really light and cheap and therefore in my professional but also personal opinion it isn't sturdy and it is not durable. I like to do this thing that I call the bowling ball test. So imagine if you had a big bowling ball and you put it into one of your IKEA cupboards or you put it into one of your IKEA drawers in your kitchen. Now of course you're not going to put a real bowling ball in your kitchen, but it will give you a bit of an indication of how durable and sturdy these IKEA kitchens are, or really aren't. And no one's really having this conversation in this interior design space about IKEA kitchens. I cannot stress they are not worth the money. In fact, I think you'll have more heartache trying to fix things. The second overrated product that I will tell you not to buy from Ikea are floating cabinetry and floating vanities. Like the kitchen cupboards, they too are really, really flimsy. They are not durable and they are not sturdy. For kitchens and vanities, my suggestion is invest your money in a joiner or a carpenter or a kitchen manufacturer or installer or a builder, someone who makes these products, they will guarantee a good product that I can guarantee is going to be much better than Ikea. If you need to get a kitchen, like a DIY kitchen or a DIY floating vanity or just a vanity in general, my suggestion is if you live in Australia or New Zealand, go to somewhere like Bunnings or if you live in the Northern Hemisphere and say somewhere like America or Canada, go to somewhere like Home Depot, or as you like to call it, Home Depot. I hope my American accent was good. Those two places are going to give you a much better product than Ikea. Now, I've heard some people say, oh, the Bunnings product isn't very good or the Home Depot product isn't very good. Um, I'll tell you this, they're both better than the Ikea product. So that speaks volumes there, okay? Number three, do not buy this from Ikea, rugs. The pricing of the rugs is very, very expensive, in my opinion. You don't need to pay that much money for a rug. I'm just telling you straight out. What you pay at Ikea for rugs, they're not cheap. I mean, to be honest, the rugs everywhere are not cheap. But I go to my go-to rug place, which is aurugs.com. They are based in America and they send rugs to all over the world for a very, very good price. And the sizes are amazing. Unfortunately, Ikea rugs are not very good quality. And someone has to say it. If you don't believe me, get an Ikea rug and then get an AU rug, for example, and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm not getting an affiliate marketing thing for AU rugs or anything like that. They're just very, very good rugs. And they're very, very well priced. But unfortunately, I'm sorry, Ikea, your rugs do not come up to scratch. Yes, they look cool, but you really need to give people value for their money if you're going to be affordable Swedish furniture. Just saying. Number four, my next overrated product from Ikea is the Lindbin Round Mirror. So Lindbin Round Mirror has a diameter of about 80 centimetres. Now, 
Believe it or not, it retails in Australia at IKEA for $89 Australian. I can buy the same mirror or almost the same mirror from Kmart for $32. I can also buy it from Big W for $34. And if I was to go into Target, I can buy it for $64. Now, these are all Australian shops with Australian prices. My point is I could probably buy three of these mirrors exactly the same size and exactly the same look and the same quality from Kmart for the price of one of these IKEA Lind bin mirrors. Okay, so affordable Swedish furniture? Mm, I don't think so. Last one on my list of overrated products from IKEA. The Clippin two-seater sofa. Now, the two-seater sofa, it looks cool. I have to say, it does look very space age. It looks very contemporary. I love the contemporary look. If you want a contemporary look in your house, it looks fantastic. However, it's not a very comfortable sofa at all. You can get other sofas for a cheaper price that are more comfortable. It is not a comfortable sofa. And it, the Depending on which specs you get in Australia, it's anywhere from $499 up to about $500 or $699, depending on what you have done to it, etc. Things like whether it gets scotch guarded or the fabric finish, whatever. The thing I'm trying to say here is I don't think it's worth it. It's not a comfortable couch. And I'm sorry, you can get better stuff at other shops. You could get walk into Fantastic Furniture or Amart and spend $499 or a bit more than $499 and actually get a better product. I'm sorry, Ikea. You need to like lift your game here. I do love you very, 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 very much. I love walking through your showrooms and I love your cafeteria. I think that's so much fun. But in terms of value for money, it's not value for money. It's not. I'm just telling you straight out. People think IKEA is really, really good value for money. It's not. And it's upsetting because I really... One stage, my wife and I had really strong loyalty to IKEA. And then, nah, we found like people... Oh, yeah, nah. We found the local stuff, like Australian made was so much better. I was talking to a Swedish friend recently and they were saying even we don't buy IKEA in Sweden. They said it's very convenient for things like apartment living and you know if you're living somewhere for the short term, IKEA's got some really good little tricks and nice things up your sleeve to put in your tiny little apartment. But they said for the most part, and I've I've always said this, the value there is no value for money. There isn't. The thing I don't understand, and this is a real political question, is a lot of stuff is manufactured in Indonesia, which is actually a neighbour of Australia. Yet for some weird reason, our price is more expensive than other parts of the world. Yet we're like on the doorstep of Indonesia. You'd think the shipping price would be really, really cheap. I actually don't know if it does go directly to Australia, but it should. I think IKEA really needs to look at the Australian market and price it properly. Price your stuff properly. Make yourself competitive. Everything's getting expensive. Like, come on, guys. I hope you liked my top five of overrated don't buy products from Ikea. Um, if you've got any suggestions of other things that are overrated and you should not buy, please put them in the comments section. I'll be very interested to see what your points of views are. If you like the content, please like and subscribe. And I'll be doing my next video on five things that you should buy from Ikea that are underrated. So five underrated IKEA products. That will be my next video. And I look forward to seeing you next time.